from 2,000 feet, the Mediterranean is endless, idyllic blue. But this body of water that separates Africa and Europe has a dark side. It's become the world's deadliest crossing for migrants and refugees fleeing poverty and violence. Last year, more than 3,000 people drowned in these waters. Benoit Micolon is among those who decided to do something about it. With friend José Benavente, he bought a single-engine aircraft and began conducting surveillance missions over international waters off the coast of Libya. Nearly every day, they take off from the Italian island of Lampedusa with one objective, to spot migrant boats before it's too late. Today, Benoit is flying with Carola, who's among the network of people who joined in to help get the project off the ground. She is our navigator and the one who communicates with ground authorities. A few hours into the day's mission, a vessel is located. C'est bien un rubber boat, donc un bateau en caoutchouc gonflable, comme la plupart qu'on voit, mais alors c'est extrêmement rare qu'ils arrivent à faire une distance aussi importante. On est à plus de 150 km des côtes, je sais pas comment ils sont arrivés jusque là. On va essayer de voir l'état de leur embarcation, est-ce que les boudins sont encore bien gonflés ou pas Ground authorities are informed through the Voluntary Pilots Command Center, but no Coast Guard vessel can be deployed to the area. And with no NGO boats present in the region, it's up to Benoit and Carola to find a solution. So they ask us to find vessels, vessels, that are capable of securing the boat that we are to find. It's already the case. Probablement qu'il n'arrive pas à coordonner avec les, avec les Libyens, quoi que ce soit. C'est hyper loin des côtes. Mais on va trouver un, un, un bateau cargo, un ravitailleur, un pêcheur, n'importe quoi. Tout ce qui va nous tomber sous la main. Et euh, on, on peut rien faire d'autre. Benoit is forced to fly away from the migrant's boat. He knows they don't have much time. The vessel has been in the water for at least 12 hours and could deflate and sink any minute now. A Singaporean cargo ship is a few miles away. Carola sends a mayday call. After a few failed attempts, the cargo's captain gets the message and says they will assist the robber dinghy. But our plane can't stay to make sure that happens. We must head back to land. There are plenty of hurdles in the way of people like Benoit and Carola who go out of their way to help save lives. Volunteers say their work is being made increasingly difficult by growing anti-migrant sentiment in Europe. And the mission depends on donations to continue to operate. But Benoit and Carola say that for as long as there are people desperate enough to cross the Mediterranean, they will be out on board the Colibri, trying to do their part. Annelise Borges aboard the Colibri for your news.